Picture this. It's the dead of winter. A blizzard has knocked out the power and the roads are impassable. You open your pantry and there they are. 20 carefully chosen foods that'll keep you and your family nourished and energized until things get back to normal. Now that we've set the stage for our winter preparedness plan, let's dive into the first category of essential stockpile items, protein-rich foods that provide lasting energy. When you're facing a winter emergency, your body needs fuel to keep warm and stay strong. That's where these protein powerhouses come in. Let's start with a true pantry hero, peanut butter. This versatile spread is more than just a tasty treat, it's a nutritional powerhouse that can see you through tough times. Packed with healthy fats and protein, peanut butter doesn't require refrigeration after opening, making it perfect for situations where power might be unreliable. But peanut butter isn't just for sandwiches. Think outside the jar. Imagine stirring it into oatmeal for a protein-packed breakfast, spreading it on whole wheat crackers for a quick snack, or using it as a dip for dried fruits. In a pinch, you could even blend it with powdered milk and water for a makeshift protein shake. The possibilities are endless, and that's exactly what you want in an emergency food item. Next up, let's talk about canned meats. Tuna, salmon, and chicken are your go-to options here. These canned protein sources are lifesavers during extended emergencies. Why? Because they have an incredibly long shelf life. We're talking at least two years. That means you can stock up now and have peace of mind for winters to come. But here's a pro tip. Don't forget about vacuum-sealed pouches. These can last at least six months and have a secret advantage. You don't need a can opener to access them. In a situation where every tool counts, this could be a game changer. Now you might be wondering how to make these canned meats appetizing day after day. The key is versatility. Tuna and salmon can easily be tossed into pasta dishes mixed into salads, or spread on those whole wheat crackers we mentioned earlier. Canned chicken can be the start of a hearty soup. Added to rice for a quick stir-fry, or mixed with some of that peanut butter and dried fruit for a protein-packed chicken salad. Let's not forget about our third protein powerhouse, nuts and trail mixes. These little nutritional grenades pack a serious punch when it comes to energy. They're nutrient-dense, require zero preparation, and are perfect for those moments when you need a quick boost. Almonds, walnuts, cashews, they're all great choices. Mix them with some dried fruits and you've got a trail mix that can keep you going through long hours of snow shoveling or other physical tasks you might face during a winter emergency. One important note about nuts, they're loaded with natural oils, which means they can go rancid if not stored properly. To keep them fresh, store them in vacuum-packed containers, or, if possible, in the fridge or freezer. This way, they'll be ready when you need them most. By combining these three protein sources, peanut butter, canned meats, and nuts, you're creating a well-rounded protein supply that can help maintain your strength during challenging times. Each option brings something unique to the table, ensuring you have variety in your diet even when fresh options are scarce. Now that we've covered our protein powerhouses, let's shift gears and talk about the next essential category for your winter stockpile, carbohydrate-rich foods. These carb companions aren't just about quick energy. They're the comfort foods that can make a stressful situation feel a bit more manageable. First up on our list are whole wheat crackers. You might be wondering why we're not just recommending any old cracker. Well, Whole wheat varieties pack a nutritional punch that regular crackers can't match. They're higher in fiber, which means they'll keep you feeling fuller for longer. That's crucial when you're trying to stretch your supplies during an extended emergency. But here's a pro tip. Consider vacuum packing your crackers. This simple step can significantly extend their shelf life, ensuring they're crisp and ready when you need them most. Pair these crackers with some of that peanut butter we talked about earlier, and you've got a satisfying snack that's both nutritious and comforting. Next, let's talk about cereal. Now I know what you're thinking. Cereal isn't just for breakfast anymore. In an emergency situation, a bowl of cereal can be a quick meal any time of day. But not all cereals are created equal. When you're stocking up, look for multigrain varieties with minimal added sugar. These will provide sustained energy rather than a quick sugar rush followed by a crash. Exactly what you don't need when you're dealing with a winter emergency. 
Dry pasta is another staple you'll want to have on hand. It's filling, versatile, and has a long shelf life. We're talking months or even years when stored properly. Pair it with some jarred sauces, and you've got the makings of a comforting meal that can lift spirits as well as fill bellies. But what if you're dealing with limited resources? Maybe the power's out, and you can't boil water on an electric stove. Here's where a little preparation pays off. Consider investing in a camping stove or a portable burner that runs on propane. These can be lifesavers when traditional cooking methods aren't an option. And remember, in a pinch, you can even eat pasta cold. It might not be gourmet, but it'll keep you going. Now let's talk about granola and power bars. These compact energy sources are like having a secret weapon in your pantry. They're portable, require zero preparation, and can last for months. When you're out shoveling snow or dealing with other physical tasks that winter emergencies often bring, having a quick energy boost can make all the difference. But here's something to keep in mind. Not all bars are created equal. When you're choosing your stockpile, look for options that balance carbohydrates with protein and healthy fats. This combination will give you sustained energy rather than a quick spike and crash. And don't forget about taste. In stressful situations, a little bit of enjoyment can go a long way. One more thing about these carb companions. They're not just about physical energy. In times of stress, familiar foods can provide emotional comfort. The simple act of having a bowl of cereal or sharing a pasta dinner can create a sense of normalcy, even when the world outside is anything but normal. Remember, the key to a good stockpile is variety. Mix and match these carb options to keep things interesting. Maybe one day you have pasta for dinner. The next day it's a bowl of cereal. Keeping some variety in your meals can help maintain morale during challenging times. We've covered proteins and carbs, but there's another crucial element to your winter stockpile. Vitamins and minerals. When fresh produce is scarce, you need to get creative to maintain proper nutrition. Let's explore some vitamin-packed options that'll keep your immune system strong and your body functioning at its best, even in the toughest conditions. First up, canned vegetables. These often overlooked pantry staples are nutritional powerhouses. They're packed with essential vitamins and minerals, and their long shelf life makes them perfect for emergency situations. But here's a pro tip. Opt for low-sodium varieties. During stressful times, it's easy to overdo it on salt, which can lead to dehydration. The last thing you want in a winter emergency. When you're choosing canned veggies, think variety. Mix it up with green beans, corn, carrots, and peas. Each brings its own nutritional profile to the table. Green beans are rich in vitamins A and C, while corn provides a good dose of B vitamins. Carrots are loaded with beta-carotene, and peas are a great source of vitamin K and manganese. But how do you make these canned goods appetizing day after day? Get creative! Try mixing different veggies for a quick side dish, or add them to soups and stews for extra nutrition. You can even mash them up to create a spread for those whole wheat crackers we talked about earlier. Now let's talk about dried fruits. These little nuggets of sweetness aren't just tasty. They're nutritional powerhouses. Apricots, for example, are packed with potassium, which is crucial for heart health and muscle function. Raisins are a great source of iron, which helps maintain your energy levels. And don't forget about prunes. They're loaded with fiber to keep your digestive system running smoothly. Dried fruits are incredibly versatile. Toss them into your morning cereal, mix them with nuts for a quick trail mix, or rehydrate them to use in baking. They're also perfect for snacking when you need a quick energy boost. Next on our list, canned beans. These humble legumes are true nutritional all-stars. They're not just a great source of protein, they're also loaded with fiber, which is essential for digestive health. Black beans, kidney beans, chickpeas, they're all excellent choices. Beans are incredibly versatile in the kitchen. Use them to bulk up soups and stews. Mash them for a quick dip, or toss them into a salad for added protein and texture. And here's a tip. Don't drain away the liquid in the can. It's called aquafaba, and it can be used as an egg substitute in many recipes. That's the kind of culinary creativity that can make a big difference when supplies are limited. Lastly, let's talk about multivitamins. 
While it's always best to get your nutrients from food, a good multivitamin can help fill in any nutritional gaps. This is especially important during emergencies, when your diet might not be as varied as usual. Look for a multivitamin that provides 100% of the daily value for most vitamins and minerals. Remember, maintaining proper nutrition isn't just about surviving, it's about thriving. As Francis Largeman Roth, a registered dietitian, puts it, the main thing is to have plenty of canned and frozen fruit and veggies to get your vitamin C, plus canned beans and fish for protein and zinc. These nutrients are crucial for supporting your immune system which is especially important during winter months. Now that we've covered the essential nutrients, let's talk about something even more fundamental, hydration. When winter emergencies strike, staying properly hydrated isn't just about quenching thirst, it's a critical survival strategy. Think about this, you're in the middle of a power outage, your heating system is working overtime, and you're exerting yourself more than usual. In these conditions, dehydration can sneak up on you faster than you might realize. That's why having a solid hydration plan is just as important as stockpiling food. Let's start with the most basic yet crucial item, bottled water. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends having at least one gallon of water per person per day for drinking, cooking, and sanitation. That might sound like a lot, but when you break it down, it's the bare minimum to keep you going. But here's the thing, you can't just buy water and forget about it. Proper storage and rotation are key. Store your water in a cool, dark place away from direct sunlight and potential contaminants. And here's a pro tip, check those expiration dates regularly. Even bottled water can go bad, so aim to replace your stored water every six months to ensure freshness. Now let's talk about electrolytes. When you're physically active, say, shoveling snow or dealing with other winter emergencies, you lose more than just water. That's where sports drinks come in handy. They help replenish electrolytes and provide some quick carbohydrates for energy. But be cautious. Many sports drinks are loaded with added sugars. Look for options with natural ingredients, like organic electrolyte drinks made with coconut water. Next up, powdered milk. This might not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think about hydration, but it's a versatile powerhouse. Not only does it provide calcium and vitamin D, but it's also a non-refrigerated option that can last for months when stored properly. Mix it with water for drinking, use it in cooking, or add it to your morning cereal for an extra nutritional boost. But hydration isn't just about plain water and milk. Enter broths and bouillon cubes. These little flavor bombs serve a dual purpose. They provide hydration while also enhancing the taste of your meals. Imagine how comforting a warm cup of broth could be during a cold winter night without power. Plus, having a variety of broths on hand can help maintain a semblance of a balanced diet when fresh ingredients are scarce. Remember, staying hydrated is especially critical during winter emergencies. Heating systems can dry out the air in your home, increasing the risk of dehydration even when you're not physically active. By keeping these hydration heroes on hand, you're not just preparing for thirst, you're setting yourself up to maintain energy, regulate body temperature, and stay healthy when every sip counts. One more thing to consider, individual needs. If you have family members with specific health conditions or dietary requirements, Factor those into your hydration plan. For instance, if someone in your household needs to limit their sodium intake, be sure to stock low-sodium broths or electrolyte drinks. Remember, building your winter stockpile is an ongoing process. Start gradually and make it a habit to check expiration dates and rotate your stock regularly. This ensures your supplies stay fresh and ready when you need them most. Don't forget to consider any dietary restrictions or special needs in your household. Your stockpile should cater to everyone's requirements. Think about this. When winter's unpredictability strikes, your well-stocked pantry might just become your most valuable asset. It's not just about surviving. It's about thriving in challenging times. Stay prepared, stay safe, and stay one step ahead of whatever winter throws your way. Food isn't the only thing you'll need to survive. 
Click the video on screen now for our complete breakdown on how you can survive the first 100 days after any disaster.